to write an incredible 4,000 carat diamond for a sibling sum of $2 million. That number again, 1-800-STAR-WARS. Call now. Tell them. <laughs> The number to call is 1-800-STAR-WARS. Don't miss this amazing... I'm thirsty. I don't think you should drink that. It looks bad for you. Nonsense. It makes me feel great. Smarter. More aggressive. I feel like I could. Like I could. Like I could. Take, Take on, on the world. Look, Hoagie, it's a hamster. Just what I need for dissection lab tomorrow. I think I need that for the band, Laverne. You know, like we could bite its head off or whatever. Hands off that hamster. Friend of yours, Bernard? He belongs to Weird Ed Edison, and it looks like he's brought us a note. It's from my old friend, Green Tentacle. He says that purple tentacles mutated into an insane genius, and Dr. Fred's going to kill them both. I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy Edisons forever. But now, I know that I must go back to the mansion.
Okay, we'll spread out commando style. Laverne, you go secure the area behind those double doors. Hoagie, you take care of upstairs reconnaissance. I'll maintain Command HQ here, in the lobby. What are we looking for? We've got to find where Dr. Fred is holding the tentacles. This better not take too long. I've got an anatomy final tomorrow. And I've got a show to set up later tonight. If I'm late, I don't get to test the drums. If I know Dr. Fred, he's got the tentacles tied up in his secret lab. Question is, where's his secret lab? Help wanted, lab assistant. Hard-working, moronic drone needed to assist genius with experiments. High school diploma, not required. That one looks like it's from a local hardware store. Looks like a stand for tourist info and ads for local merchants. It's from George's Hardware. George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. My favorite. It's stuck to the floor. Nineteen fifty two. It looks broken, but there's something in the coin return. It's signed, here's your EPA grant. Keep up the good work. Hi from Mommy, Ronnie83. Boy, the Edisons are a spectacularly ugly family. Dr. Fred doesn't have a penny. It's a bottle of correctional fluid. Wow, it's from my favorite movie. Looks like Dr. Fred wearing a powdered wig. Handsome in a way, but I'm glad he eventually accepted his hair loss. I hope no one's watching. I look so goofy on video. I hope... I look... Hmm, there's something funny about that clock. Aha! A secret passage. This is all too easy. Laverne, how'd you get upstairs? Am I upstairs? I got lost. Seen any tentacles? What's a tentacle? Oh, just something I whipped up in my spare time. 
made good pets, actually. Until one of them tried to take over the world, they had to tie the little buggers up in the basement. Good thing you told us that. Yeah, Bernard wanted us to set them free. Thank God you weren't that stupid. Did you say Bernard? Okay, you're free to go. Thanks, Bernard. Yes, thank you, naive human. Now I can finish taking over the world. <laughs> Wait! Oh, yeah. Now I remember. He's incredibly evil, isn't he? Uh, I'll try to talk him out of it. Well, what possible harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? Leaping lab rats! Dr. Fred! What have you done this time, you meddling milk toast? Now Purple Tentacle is free to use his evil mutant powers to take over the world and enslave all humanity! Whoops! Our only hope now is to turn off my sludge magic machine! and prevent the toxic mutagen from entering the river. Isn't it a little late for that, Doctor? Of course, that's why I'll have to do it. Yesterday, to the time machine. This is all your fault, Bernard. Behold, children, the chronogen. Doc, can't you just send Bernard? No, you must all go to increase the odds that one of you will make it there alive. Have any people ever been hurt in this thing? Of course not. This is the first time I've ever tried it on people. Well, I'll be. Bernard, float over here so I can punch you. This must be that Woodstock place Mom and Dad are always talking about. What could it all mean? I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Die. <laughs> Die. We may not live to see yesterday. I'm sure Dr. Fred wouldn't have done this if it weren't safe. After all, he is a doctor. It worked! I can't believe it! And they said Imitation Diamond wasn't good enough! Uh-oh! Order jewels. What happened to Hokey and Laverne? I knew I should have bought a real diamond. Are they alive? My dials say that the larger specimen landed 200 years in the past, and the other is stuck 200 years in the future. Well, hurry up and bring them back. I will, as soon as I get a new diamond. Then all your buddies have to do is plug in their respective chronogons and... Plug them in? Where is Hoagie going to find an electrical outlet 200 years in the past? Yes, well, he'll be needing my patented super battery then, won't he? Now, where did I put those patented super battery plans of mine? Plans? How are we going to get Hoagie plans? Don't worry me with details, boy. Just help me find the plans. They're in this house somewhere. Now what am I going to do?
I think I made myself perfectly clear. Step one, find plans. Step two, save world. Step three, get out of my house. Let's get cracking. It can't do anything without a new diamond. It can't do anything without a new diamond. It's maybe I put them upstairs. That's got to be it. Upstairs. It's empty. I'm surprised I ever got out of there alive. Warning! Output from this device is highly toxic and may cause tyrannical delusions if ingested. There, it's off. But it's too late now. Yoo-hoo, Dr. Fred? The plans, the plans! It's pretty darn cold. This beautiful 4,000 carat diamond can be yours today for the special rock bottom introductory price of $2 million. The number to call is 1-800-STAR-WARS. Don't miss this amazing once in a lifetime opportunity. Ahem. Late night? I'm trying to save the world from a nasty tentacle. I had an uncle who snored as loud as you do. He lived in California until he was declared an earthquake hazard. You haven't seen any plans for a super battery around, have you? I wonder where Dr. Fred could have put them. Nice room you've got here. Reminds me of the greeting card store I used to work at. Well, thanks. You've been really helpful. I can't pick it up. That guy is lying on it. There's a whole lot of keys on here. Mmm, that 
buzzing fluorescent light makes the beef jerky look especially attractive. It's useless. No one will ever be interested in my design. So I'm ending my novelty inventing career right here in this tacky motel. How appropriate. <sighs> I can't even do this right. It's state of the art. I can't see it very well from here. I can't see it very well from here. Hi, my name's Bernard. What's yours? Dwayne. Isn't that depressing? You haven't seen any plans for a super battery around, have you? Super battery? <laughs> that sounds even worse than the things I come up with. Gee, you look depressed. What clued you in, Brainiac? The gun was a good tip-off. I'm having a crisis here, a warehouse of anguish. I'm a novelty goods designer by trade. I've come up with some fabulous ideas. The exploding lollipop, itching powder gum, and reverse 3D glasses, to name a few. The problem is, no one likes my designs. I send them all over the world and no one responds. I just wish someone would say they liked one just once. Oh, woe is me. I like your design ideas. Well, I didn't mean you. What did you say your job was again? I'm a novelty goods designer by trade. The problem is, no one likes my designs. I send them all over the world and no one responds. I just wish someone would say they liked one just once. Oh, woe is me. I like your design ideas. Well, I didn't mean you. Nice music they pipe in here, huh? It's from the Elevator Classics series. It seems like this one tune has been on all day. I've never been so depressed in my life. Maybe I can help cheer you up? Oh, I can hardly wait. Why don't you try whistling a happy tune? I invented a whistle that turned your lips green. Nobody liked it. Maybe some calisthenics would help. Last time I tried calisthenics, I ruptured my spleen. Ugh. Let's discuss philosophy. Okay, here's my philosophy. Life is completely pointless, especially mine. Would you say that existence constitutes purpose? Oh, who cares? Philosophers are all failures like me who couldn't make it in a real profession. Uh, never mind.